everybody and welcome to your next C++ uh, Lego 5 platformer tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be starting off the sprite sheet animation class we can get our characters animation going now I made this tutorial a few times um, but I never uploaded it because uh, I kind of screwed up on one thing but um, this is probably going to span one or two tutorials, so um, please be patient. So anyways, uh, what we're going to do is create a brand new class. And we're going to call this Sprite Sheet Animation. You can call it anything you want, but I'm going to call this Sprite Sheet Animation. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to include the animation class. and uh, inherit from the animation so since we're inheriting from the animation uh, we're gonna uh, have the update we're gonna inherit the update method as well okay so now we're gonna stop there for now and we're gonna do a lot of well a few things right here so what we're gonna do is create a std pair of ints and this is gonna be for the amount of frames And uh, we're going to make another STD pair. And it's going to be called current frame. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is that we're going to, we're going to uh, create some variables to reference to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, std pair and we're going to say amount of frames and we're going to put an ampersand in front of it because we want to be able to modify its value as well so we're going to put uh, another std pair this one's not going to have or actually yeah this one will have an ampersand as well And we're going to have another one. And we're going to call this frame dimensions. And this one is not going to have an ampersand. Because we don't want to modify the frame dimensions. We just want to get it. So you could even put get frame dimensions in there if you, if you want. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, so another thing that we're going to want to get is uh, uh, Allegro bitmap. And uh, we're going to put, so it's a pointer, and we're going to call it, I don't know, image, or whatever you want to call it. So now we're going to go to our animation.cpp, and we're going to go to the bottom, and we're going to do animation, and we're going to do amount of frames. And what we'll do is return amount of frames. And that's not a bool. What am I doing? Okay, so it's the SCD pair. So now we have another SCD pair of ints. And this one's called current frame. And we'll return the current frame. Okay. So now we have a lastly but not least another one and this one's called frame dimensions. Now the frame dimensions is going to return first we're gonna it's gonna be the dimensions of each frame of our image. So uh, if we look at the image that we have, what am I doing? Delete that. Okay, so if we look at our image, uh, it is uh, three by four, right? So we have three images horizontally, four images vertically. So we want to find out the width and height of each image within our sprite sheet, right? And we're going to find that out by um, our frame dimensions. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so anyways, um, we're going to make an SCD pair of ints, 
and I'll just name it FD for frame dimensions. And for the frame dimension X, uh, it's gonna be AL get image or get bitmap, sorry, with passing the image divided by amount of frames dot first. The second parameter is gonna be AL get bitmap height passing the image divided by amount of frames dot second. Now, how does that work? So we specify that we have three frames uh, horizontally, four frames vertically. So this picture is 96 by 128. So 96, which is the image's width, divided by three, which is the amount of frames we have, will give us the value 32. And 128 divided by four will give us the value 32. So our frame dimension in the X is 32, and our frame dimension in the Y is 32. So our pixel, our image is 32 by 32 pixels wide. And that's how uh, we calculate it, okay? And last but not least, oh no, sorry, so we gotta return that. So we say we return FD. So lastly but not least, we have to get our image. And we just return our image okay so now let's go to our spreadsheet animation and uh, in our spreadsheet animation we gotta have a f oh I guess it just added send okay so we have our frame counter and a switch frame okay and did it oh man already has all this code in it okay I'm gonna erase all this cuz I don't want I want to explain it from scratch so we have our frame counter and our switch frame. So the frame counter is gonna count to a certain value. Once that value equals our switch frame value, then we're gonna actually switch the frame that we're currently on. So now I gotta make that our constructors again. You know what? I should erase the update. Sorry for that. So in our constructor, what we wanna do is set frame counter to zero and our switch frame to 100 for now and we might change that later so now we have our update and we'll call animation a so now we're gonna say if a dot is active then we do something and this is inaccessible oh yeah it should be is active with capital letters okay so we uh just let me check how much time we have okay so if it's active then we want to do something if it's not active we don't want to do something so we're going to say else frame counter equals zero and we'll set a dot uh current frame dot first equal to one and why do we do this the reason why we do this is because the frames in the middle are the standing animation frames so for if the player is not active so if it's not moving we want the player to be standing we don't want it to look like the player is in a stepping motion when it's supposed to be standing or when it's not moving so we will set it to this value this frame if the player is indeed not moving Okay, so if it is active, then we're gonna say frame counter plus plus. Okay, then we'll make an if statement and we'll say if frame counter is greater than or equal to switch frame, then we wanna set frame counter equal to zero and then we wanna actually switch the frame. So we'll call a dot current frame dot first plus plus. So now we got to do an, uh, a check and we have to say that if a dot current frame dot first times a ale get bitmap with and we have to get a dot image. So if that is greater than or equal to the images, uh, the if that's no it shouldn't be sorry just cut this right here paste this right here 
So if our current frame times our frame dimensions dot first. So if that is greater than the image's width or greater than or equal to, then we need to reset it. Okay. Uh, so we got to reset it back to the first frame again. So what's gonna, what this is basically saying is that if we've reached this frame right here, then revert back to this one and loop through it and loop through it and so on and so forth. And if that really confuses you, then you can always check the sprite sheet tutorial that I I post in, um, in the beginner tutorial series. But I'm going to end this tutorial here. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and 